Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. I am here today with another spooky box club unboxing. We've got three to do. I said in the last one we did three, we had another three, that is this video. I put on fake nails before this because I thought it kind of completed the look and I'm already full of regret because in the time it took me to stand up, walk a few feet over the room and pick up these spooky boxes, I lost three of these and had to glue them back on just now. So I'm, I always struggle with keeping fake nails on. I don't know why I bother with them, but I, every now and again I try. But these ones especially, like they seem to be too like curved for my nail beds or something. So they're like extra not staying on. And I did try a bunch of different sizes. These were the closest. It's still just, it's not good. But we've got spooky boxes to open. We'll see if I still have any of these at the end of that, but we can try. So let's, let's do it. Okay, so the boxes we have today are box 77, which is Night World. We have 78, which is A Strange Garden. Ooh. And box 79, which is A Victorian Adventure, which sounds exciting. I wonder if it'll be like steampunky or just, when I hear Victorian and adventure together, that's where my mind goes. I'm not sure, but I'm very, anything Victorian, typically gets me excited. So looking forward to these. I put on a necklace and you can't even see it, but I put it to match my makeup. I made this like last year. It was like a stupid little necklace, but I made it out of one of those Claire's like flip phone lip gloss things when I was going through like a really like early 2000s kind of phase. And it's just, it's fun, but you can't actually see it because it's too low down. But because my makeup's pink and green, I was matching it with my Grinch skin jacket. Anyway, I'll try not to go as fast this time. Last time, because I was doing three boxes in one video, I felt like it was gonna be too long, so I like really rushed through it, and then it turned out I really didn't need to, so we're gonna take our time this time. So, here we go. This is Night, night World. I'm gonna set this aside. Ooh! -hoo. Okay, so right on top we have our little lollipop. Always love that. It's like a little red and white one. Perfect. Oh, okay. Ooh, ah, okay. Oh, that's really cute. So we have a little pin here and it says midnight snack and it's like little pink, like vampire mouth. That's really adorable. I love that. I kind of want to put it on, but no, if I try to put this on, all of my nails will go off. But I feel like it kind of matches the vibe for today, honestly. Yeah? It's cute. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Okay, next up, what is this? Okay, so it's some sort of chin. It has like a little thing on the end that's kind of coffin shaped, which is cute. And then it's just this sort of like ring closure thing. I don't know if this is maybe like a leash for a collar or if it's like, I don't know, a wallet chain or something. I'm not really sure, but I feel like there's a lot of ways you could use it regardless of what its intended purpose is. So this is cute. I'm happy with this. I can definitely think of ways that I can use this. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have a choker because I feel like it would kind of match the vibe. Ooh, cute. So, I think these are, I'm assuming they're not gloves just by the end. I think these are little like fishnet socks with little bows. And then the bows have like a little metal bat charm. These are really, really cute. I might wear these tomorrow. I'm meeting up with a new friend tomorrow and I haven't really known what I'm gonna wear. And these are kind of, I might, I'm not sure. I'll have to see what the hell else. I kind of want to wear this jacket, but then I feel like it's maybe too much for meeting someone new. I don't know. It's just so fun, but I don't know. I might tone it down a bit, but yeah, these are very cute. I love these. I love little like fishnet socks like this anyway, and it's so cute. These have the bow and the little bat charms. I approve. <gasps> what is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, here. Oh, hey. This looks like a choker. The heckity hole. Okay, I think I put it on. Yeah, it's too loose, but hang on. There we go. I'm assuming this is what the vibe was here. Yay! <laughs> Cute, okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave this on because that was enough hassle to put on without trying to take it off. So this is just like a plain little strap. I'm thinking maybe this is just like a simple little like leather bracelet or something, which I'm not even gonna attempt. <laughs> Do we remember the bracelet from the last time? I know people give me tips. Can no, I can't be bothered even trying. I know people give me tips for the other bracelet the last time, but this is a whole new kind of thing. And with these nails and everything, we're just not even gonna attempt it. But I think that's what this is. It's just like a plain little leather, like bris bristlety thing. So that is very cute too. And it would match this vibe, but no, <laughs> not today. It's gone very bright again. Why does this camera hit me? There, I promise I will get my better camera up and running soon. I just haven't got around to it. So I'm just using the one that's easy to set up, but that is temperamental. Okay, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, so what is this first of all? It's coffin chip, so I'm happy. I'm easily pleased. Ooh, it's like a little 
pouch of some sort. So it has a little zip. Yeah, it's just like a little coffin shaped pouch to put whatever in. It has like a little strap to hold on to. There, it's very simple, very basic, but gets the job done. Lovely. And then finally, what is this? I'm not sure what it is, but it's really cool. I love that. Well, we we're about to find out what it is, so let's see. The All Black Basics Collection for Vampy Nights In or Out. Okay, that's cool. This is fun. All right, so custom made sleek gothic coffin wristlet. That's the little zippy pouch, yes. Custom made bats and bows fishnet socks. Yes, love those. Custom made insomnia laptop slash PC tower decal. Oh, cute. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, I think people are coming to hang out in the studio next to mine and it's going to be loud and they're going to be able to hear me. Please go away. Maybe that wasn't the neighbors. Maybe that was just like people exploring the building. Don't love that either. I'm not sure. Custom made midnight snack enamel pin. Yes. Custom made coffin belt loop chain for <laughs> wallets and keys. Okay, so it's, it's not a leash. <laughs> it, is, it is a belt loop chain for your wallet slash keys. This is where my mind went. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> Custom made black cuff leather bracelet. Yep. Custom made black slim o-ring choker. Yeah, what, what was I supposed to think? Uh, even before the choker, that's what I thought this was, so. Shh. And spooky box candy of the month. Yes, we got everything in this box. Not a word. Yeah, it's gone quiet. I wonder what that was. Next up, we have a strange garden. This is what we're working with. Okay, ooh, right. So the thing, on, the thing right on top that has interested me is a little like, oh, I saw these when we were in Barcelona. I think I bought a green one because I thought they were so cute. Hang on. I can't remember what the little shop in Barcelona is called. It always makes me think of IHOP. It's not IHOP. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I think they maybe have them in like more places in Europe than just Barcelona because there's quite a few of them, but it's just like a shop of knickknacks and I fucking loved it there. I can't remember the name. Hopefully someone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a little grocery bag, like a little net one. You put your like vegetables and stuff in there. That's very cute. It's a really cute purpley color. I love little bags like these. I don't know what it is I find so pleasing about them, but I just imagine like coming back from the market with your vegetables in your little net bag. That's the vibes I get. So very cute. Next up, ooh, hauntingly handmade gravestone hanging plant tags. Oh, cute. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in there. That's fun. I hope that like wherever I end up has a little garden or just some sort of little outdoor space that I can even have like pots so I can use these because that would be really, really cute. Plus I just like having an outdoor space, but don't know how things are gonna work out at the minute. We'll see. But at some point in my life, these are gonna get used because they are adorable. If it's not the next place I end up living, it's gonna be a goal eventually to have somewhere with a nice garden, so. We have the candy of the month, which is a drumstick. Very common in the UK. I never eat these just because they're so chewy and I feel like they're more effort than they're worth. I know those people who love them, but I get annoyed before I can finish them personally, so I'll give this to someone else. <gasps> what is that? Oh, what is it? It's cute. <gasps> oh, I think it is. Oh, I can't wait till I get a new place to live so I can use this. Look at it. That's so cute. It says under a spell and it's just very my vibe. That is freaking adorable. Look at it. I think there's more in there maybe. I love this so much. Okay. I hope that whoever I heard did actually leave and they're not all just sitting politely waiting for me to finish this while listening because I don't know why I hit anyone hearing me record even like friends or family or anything. <laughs> I hate it so much. It feels so awkward. Anyway. This one says breaking a curse and it has like a sword with vines. That's really cute. I will definitely find somewhere for these whenever I find somewhere to live. Oh, what's this? Is this like a little notebook or something? Whatever it is, I love the print on the front with all the carnivorous plants and everything and the little moth. That's adorable. I'm not even gonna attempt to get the plastic wrapping off of this right now, but it looks like a little notebook and we'll find out in the, um, the thing. But yeah, this is really cute. I love it. Another notebook that I am not going to want to use. I just realized it matches my makeup. It's like pink and green. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really bad for not wanting to use pretty notebooks because I don't want to ruin them. Ooh, cute. So we have two little pins in one. There's a little skull and then it says everything dies. <laughs> Very cute though, love that. Good, okay. So that was that box. What was in here? We've got the gravestone hanging plant tags, yes. Magical Garden Scatter Cushion Cover, yep. Another Magical Garden Scatter Cushion Cover, yep. Carnivorous Bl Plants Notebook, yes. And it has plain cream pages throughout. There we go, didn't even need to open it because it 
tells you what's in there. Very good. Custom made everything dyes enamel pin set. Oh, typo negative song lyric pin in mini skull. Didn't pick up on that. I do like typo, typo negative, but I guess I'm not a big enough fan to have noticed that, but yeah. And then the spooky purple grocery mesh bag. Yes, and the candy of the month. Yeah, got everything in that box. Okay, on, on to our final box. I, I've been seen here to get ready. I've been unboxing it. It's a, it's a mess around me. Just don't look at it. On to our final box, which is a Victorian adventure. More of a mess, yay. Ooh, what have we got? Ooh, oh, the pin. Oh dear, this all looks very nice. Okay, first of all, ooh, we have another um, drumstick lolly, but this one's bubblegum flavor. I didn't know they did bubblegum flavor. Put that aside, will that be worth pulling teeth out over? I'm not sure. Okay, oh, what first? Oh, is that a, I haven't, we have, I haven't even taken anything out of this box yet. And it's already like, I think maybe one of my favorites. Oh my God, right, okay. So we'll do the pin first because that's right there. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, wow. I hope you can see that. This is the pin. Look how freaking pretty. I really, really love that. I love the style this is in. I love the ghost. I love like the ornamental, whatever the hell around. It's so cute. I really, really love this. Oh, I like that his eyes are kind of runny as well. That's adorable. Oh, this, I haven't seen it yet, but it sounds nice. Ornate keyhole necklace. And it is nice. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. Oh, it has like little bats and everything. Can you see the design? So pretty. Yes, just very yes. Ooh. Okay, next up we have skull filigree earrings. <gasps> Ooh, these are even cuter than what I was expecting. Can we see those? Look how pretty. Got a shine in the light, that's really cute. But yeah, look, love those as well. <gasps> I love this box, oh my goodness, okay. And the other thing, is it what I think it is? Oh, it's not what I thought it was, but it's very cute. And I'll probably get more use out of it, honestly. I, it's round, so I thought this was like a beret, which to be fair, it would have been adorable, but I can never get them to sit well on my head, so this is probably better, honestly. Oh, it's a little bag, so it has a little chin. The inside is purple. And then look at the pretty, pretty design. So cute. I love this. That and the moths and the branches. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Like I thought, but yeah, no, this is probably more useful for me. <laughs> and then we have this little art print. Cute, okay, so that was adorable. Let's see. Custom made reliquary ghost pin, yes. Yeah, pretty much almost everything's custom made. So, Nocturne Bat Round Bag, yes. Ornate Keyhole, keyhole Necklace, yes. Skull Filigree Earrings, yes. On Shadowed Wings Art Print, yes. And Spooky Box Candy of the Month, yes. Okay, so we got everything in that box, yay. Okay, so that is everything for this video. Hopefully I didn't speed through it quite as much as last time. I didn't feel that speedy, but I never really know until I edit it and that's the problem. So as always, if you want to support me and this channel and my current quest to get me and my cat somewhere to live, since if you don't know, there's some videos about it. Things have been bad, but we're working towards making them better. The best way to support all of that is by Patreon. And that is down in the description below, along with some other alternatives for people who ask. A huge thank you again to everyone who has supported me so far throughout all of this. No one, no one knows exactly how bad it has been and exactly how awful the whole thing has been so just having you guys to support me has been very much appreciated so yes i am going to head off and maybe record one more video now and i will see you in the next one i hope you're all having a wonderful day bye lovelies